Dear all, welcome and thank you for tuning in to my channel. I'm Dr. Al Zobi and I am creating content uh, related to engineering and biomedical engineering in particular. Uh, I also, in my videos, I answer questions that I receive from colleagues and from students all around the world. Um, in today's video, I will want to answer a question that I received about the um, difference between engineers, the differences between engineers and programmers and uh, if, if there is a difference actually and would engineers would it be good to be um, do people expect actually from engineers to be programmers and uh, is this something that engineers should invest time in so i wanted to um, answer in this video actually what is um, the relationship between engineering and programming and if an engineer needs to learn programming or not so if you are this is your first time uh, in my channel welcome and thank you for uh, visiting uh, please um, subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the uh, bell button so that you are receiving notification every time i post a video so going back to the question so in general um, engineers we i always tell my students and uh, all engineers that they need to learn programming and at least be good in one programming language before they you know graduate uh, from college uh, having that been said we don't expect from engineers to be programmers and we don't expect programmers to be engineers so here what we expect from engineers actually is um, for example if they want to uh, program um, a you know analyzing data we want them to do things that will are given to programmers to help programmers uh, code better you know write a better program an executable program so what we let's say if an engineer wants to analyze for example from a biomedical engineering um, you know we can use a biomedical engineering example we can say if I want to analyze the EMG uh, electrical signal that we measure from um, the muscles so the the first thing we expect engineers to do is to write something called pseudocode and that's the first step in programming the pseudocode is a text uh, a sequence uh, of steps that is written in the language in you know uh, understandable you know human language so for example the engineer will write step one uh, open the file uh, step two um, you know read the column uh, egg, either cl column one from that file and save the data uh, of, of that column in a variable called x and then you write down the following step will be plot the values of you know the that stored in x uh, in, in a chart or in a figure so the first and this is just a simplification of what engineers want to do uh, here's the thing that we and then you can do you know we don't want to filter the data or analyze the data and remove the noise all these you know goody things that we do as engineers so the first step for any program is to write the pseudocode the programmers and uh, people who have a computer science degree they're not going to understand what you want to do as an engineer they don't we don't expect them to know what an EMG is what is the electromyogram signal we are not going to expect from them to know what the data will look like what, what, what do they expect and what we want from the data so that's the job of an engineer uh, to write the pseudocode so that they and it should be detailed in detail uh, detailed steps so that the programmer understand what we want uh, them to do so that's the first thing that you need to understand the difference between engineers and programmers we need to write the pseudocode to tell the programmers what we want to do the next step for engineers is actually to create a flowchart uh, from their pseudocode so the flowchart needs to you know we those are symbols we use to uh, summarize and simplify the pseudocode and to make it compact so for example we have you have the oval shape that tells you to start you know your code and then you have an arrow going down and then you have you know um, you know a, a, a rectangle that this is a, an arithmetic operation that you need to do and then you go to a diamond shape the where you make want to make a decision you say if you, this condition is satisfied do this go to one side of the diamond and if the condition is not satisfied, not satisfied go to the other side of the diamond you know in another direction uh, so that's conditional uh, representation uh, schematic conditional representation so that is the second thing that we expect engineers to do is so the first one is to do the pseudocode the second um, task that engineers need to complete uh, for their code their program they're the ones who want to decide what to do uh, is to do the flowchart and that's why we tell always engineers that they need to know some programming uh, knowledge so that they can write these in a better way to help 
um, programmers when they when they code. And for my students, I keep telling biomedical engineering students that they need to learn, you know, and be good in MATLAB. That's that's a good place to start uh, in, if if not Java and C plus plus. So after having the pseudocode and the flowchart, then you give these two to the programmer, and now programmers um, get the data, and then they are going to translate your pseudocode and uh, flowchart into a program, a code, an executable code. Uh, or executable, you know, file uh, for your code. And <clears throat> programmers, we, as I mentioned before, we don't expect from them to know what what the co what the data they're dealing with. They're just going to follow what we had, what we have in our pseudocode and flowchart. However, the the importance of programmers come in the way that they will be uh, effective in writing and efficient in writing short codes, and they optimize the code so that they have optimization of the size of the code, the number of lines to be executed, they have optimization of the storage that is allocated for, they will know how to optimize the storage that needs to execute the file and where the data is going to be saved, especially also if they have, it's a database that they know what, where things should, should be stored. As an engineer, I don't have to you know, know all of this knowledge and that's why, how, that's why we need programmers and and so that's the, the relationship between programming and engineering. So engineers are not programmers and programmers are not engineers, but they need to work together. So the programmers will rely on engineers to write the pseudocode and the flowchart, and then the programmers will come up with a program and make it and optimize the program and the executable file. So I hope this clarifies the relationship between engineering and programming. Still, having all that been said, uh, we always encourage our engineers to learn programming at, so that they can be um, create the, so that they can create better pseudocode flowcharts that will help a programmers um, complete and finish their job. So if you reach this point, thank you so much for watching. Um, please, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up uh, so that YouTube know that this is a valuable content for engineers and programmers to uh, watch and um, subscribe to the channel and hit the uh, bell so that you um, receive a notification every time I post a video. Thank you for watching, until next time, bye.